Hi, I am Cat Cunning. My cat might make a cameo in this, and I'm so excited to be here. I started as a dancer for the, the majority of my life and then I told my um, dance company that I could sing in an effort to keep my job and that was only a, a small number of years ago, I think like five years ago. And I sang in that show and I was totally making it up as I went along and I was the indie girl in the show and um, it went well. So I'm still singing now. I started writing soon after that. I think that from that first endorsement from the Times, the New York Times said I was a good singer. Say hello to Huli Cat. She's going to get out of here now. Love you. The New York Times said that I was a, a good singer, and I think that was a really helpful endorsement for people to want to start writing with me. And yeah, from my end, it still feels slow, you know, because you write a million songs and you release one every once in a while. So I've been, I've been lucky for the pace, but it's still just, I'm working at it every day. Like I said, I became a singer while performing. So I worked on singing while gigging. I was gigging a lot in New York City in nightlife and in um, concert dance companies and stuff like that. So a lot of it was output and performing while I was learning my craft. So this has been a really cool opportunity for me to slow down a little bit and think about what I want to say in my songs and have a little bit more of my introverted side come through in my art. I was lucky to be in a position where um, I actually got signed during quarantine with Lava Records. So I wasn't, uh, I, I had a single in line and all the timing worked out for me. It was, I got a good break to focus on protesting honestly and participating in the world and I didn't have a huge conflict of whether or not my song was right to put out at the moment um, but for artists around me who were having that issue I feel like I felt really grounded in the fact that people always need art and pop music is this funny niche where sometimes all you're singing about is a wet ass pussy I don't know if you have to <laughs> censor that but but that the world needs that too the world needs an escape from how dark everything is I mean we aren't all politicians and we're in a funny place right now where every artist feels suddenly like we have to step up and be the president because our president isn't doing that um, but I feel like whatever you do whatever your voice is in in pop whether it's really really fluffy or really really um, political it's still important. People need a rom-com as much as they need a movie about the war. So you be the hero and I'll be the hero. Calling my name from the tracks where I leave you. The trouble is, baby, they know it's a play. The release that I just had was a song called Supernova and it is about love and it's about sort of walking into the fire even though you think your heart's gonna get broken. The fire of a supernova which is a star exploding in space and I know that that's how love feels like for me sometimes when I'm attracted to somebody there's just like this beautiful destructive thing and we've all had that one love story or if you haven't you probably will. Um, but I felt like it was a joyful statement to put out and something that was about, you know, trying even in dark times and even when things feel dark. And it was really, really special for me to get to release it in the time that I did because we just like at the very end of the super long quarantine got to go make this video now that we had finally had protocols for everyone being in masks and being tested properly. And for me, it was like so many of the videos I've made or, or records I've cut are like in a rush. Um, because you're touring and then you stop for one day to cut it or it all just comes together very, very last minute. And while this video is still kind of made in two weeks, I feel like everything about it, we all had the energy of the pandemic and we wanted to see each other and we wanted to, for me, it felt like performing and that's my lifeblood and I got to perform the shit out of this song. And the remix is really exciting for me because I think that the song itself is quite, um, a lot of people interpret it being a really happy sentiment, just like my sweet supernova, like the person who's really, really important to me. And I love that the song can universally translate that way. Or if you listen closer to the lyrics, you know it's more about heartbreak and destruction. But the remix leans a lot more into that side of things. It's a little darker and harder, and it's more about the heartbreak for me and the danger of the particular love story I was writing at the time. My supernova, don't care what everybody says if everybody thinks that I'm crazy. It's always 
pretty therapeutic and artistic for me. It's, but both things are happening at all times. Like every time I write a song, it's a collection of stuff that has been just like residing in my brain for months and it comes out in its own little artful way. And I kind of wish I could talk that way all the time because um, that's, that's just how it comes out. I don't know. Um, but it always feels good to write the song. Like on the day that I wrote Supernova, it was just a day that the girl that I was falling for was ignoring me. And these are all the things I wanted to say to her. And I feel like that's how a lot of my music is. A lot of the time it comes from just like a need to say something, a need to be heard. That's why I make noise at all. I think after years and years of being a dancer and not having my voice be a part of the craft, it's always therapeutic for me to sing and scary. Yeah, I also think that it's like hard as an artist, like if you're dating a songwriter, you're gonna end up in a song. It's just part of the deal. I wrote a song a long time ago that never went anywhere. So if, somebody, if anybody takes this idea, it's a great one and I want 10%, but I wrote a song called Nobody Pays the Muse. Cause I feel like there's always somebody who the song is about, they don't get a cut of that hit. <laughs> I was afraid of real things and I couldn't get to sleep to dream. I'm so really lucky to have something that I filmed that will still be coming out soon. It's a J-Lo movie called Marry Me, and I'm so excited to be an actor anywhere near J-Lo because she's sort of my career icon for coming from dance and then beasting it as an actor and a musician. Um, so that's a really, really big thing coming up. But as for like day to day, I think we're all just creatively figuring out how to translate this craft. I hope to see some outdoor type performances where everybody social distances. Cause like I said, I live for performance and the connection between the audience and the performer. So I'm, I'm waiting for those things to pop up and I'll be a part of them. Now, when you see your name in lights or on publications or on press releases, does it go singer, dancer, actor, actor, singer, dancer, actor, dancer, singer? What do you prefer? What do I prefer? Oh, it's hard. I don't know. I feel like definitely like recording artist singer confuses me because I don't I don't even feel like I'm a very good singer. Like I feel like I'm just like making records and telling stories. But um, I definitely think that singer and actor are on the same level for me. Dancer, although it's like the heart of who I am as a person, I think the dance like is hugely affecting both of these other crafts and they're way more what I care about at this point. Rhythm and, and the relationship to how it makes me want to move is a huge influence on the songs that I write. Although I think sometimes people are like, you're a dancer, so you're going to make a dance track that you can bop to. But strangely, I like the, I, I think I already hear so many different rhythms in the way that I dance that I sometimes like the slower things. I tend to like really slow stuff where there's room for me to interpret melody interestingly, or rhythm interestingly. Um, but yeah, it, it has a lot to do with it. For sure, I know that I love a song if I'm up and dancing in the studio. New fans can follow me at Instagram, at Kat Cunning, and uh, that's pretty much where I live. But I'm also on Twitter. I'm also learning TikTok, and it's Kat Cunning across the board. Come hang out with me. Hi, my name is Kat Cunning, and you've just been buzzed. <laughs>